Their forefathers were our forefathers. We are, in a sense, family. This is the place, Berger Umlikum, where I took that picture. Show us how you took the picture, Billy. Oh. Meyer takes the team to other contact sites and demonstrates how he operates his cameras. I have here a small wheel to turn the film and I should get the picture. Where was the ship exactly when you took it that day? Uh, you see there is standing Wendel. Yes. Uh -huh. It was about that place. <clears throat> Hovering above Wendel to some degree, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. You see, on this way I put on my camera. Yeah. We're taking yeah. movies, right? Yeah. With a film camera on a tripod, Maya can shoot stills with his 35 millimeter camera at the same time. And then I can start to film. Here I got the movie. When was the ship hanging there up? And when it after was jumping by side. Jumped? Yes, jumped. It jumped away nearly so fast and the speed of light. By jumping, Maya means the ship disappears and reappears. Each time I got an uh, electrical hit when the ship was jumping. And uh, at later time they told me there shall be a very strong power field, mm -hmm. uh, electrical power field. And from that out, I always got the electrical hit. By electrical hit, Maya means an electric shock. He also noted a light shift at each event. Billy, how many sightings have you had here? On this place, I had uh, one... Maya sighting. takes the investigators to over a dozen sites, describing the craft which he calls Plus beam ships, two, and relating the information uh, he says the Pleiadians gave him. Yeah. Are there any other groups coming here, Billy? Uh, how they told me there are yeah. each year about uh, 22, 23 different civilization. They come to here to work here, study here, visit here. Mm -hmm. And the uh, other thing, there are, together with the Pleiadians, working here on Earth about uh, eight other groups. Mm -hmm but they not belong directly to the Pleiadian civilization. But they, they work together with the Pleiadians. They work together with the Pleiadians. So there's an association of some kind between the Pleiadians and some others that are also... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, how um, long have they been, they been uh, coming here? For the past 13,500 years about. 13,000? Yeah. And here we are on the place now where I got a movie picture. Mm -hmm. You see here, the, uh, you see there the road, and on the middle of the distance to the road was the ship hanging in the air and bubbling in a very strong wind. And in the background on the road, was driving cars from Tailingen to Rumlikon and from Rumlikon to Tailingen. But if somebody have seen something about the ship out of the cars, I don't know. I you didn't hear anything after that? No, no not at once. No. But there are other witnesses to some of the sightings. Ernst Keller Müller lives down the mountain from the Meyer farm. And what did you see from here, sir? What did you see? I saw two I saw the lights and then they disappeared and then they uh, came on again. That's why he noticed it. And then what happened? What is there going to happen? Then it was that one that uh, had the light going below also went down. Went down to the ground. Not all the way to the ground, but the other ones stayed in the same place and this one went further down. Is, isn't that the direction of schmidt Ruti over there? Yes, that's the direction of schmidt Ruti. Have you ever heard of anything going on over there in the Schmidruti area? A couple of days later, he called Schmidruti to find out. Did you know Mr. Meyer at that time? And then behind the forest, it was a little light. Bernadette Brandt, a computer programmer. So? Uh -huh. And it jumps like a ball. Like it bounced? Like a ball. Uh -huh. It goes up and down, and up, and down. Did when it, it goes, bigger? when it goes up, no. 
the same greatness. When it goes up, it was white, and when it goes down, it was red. The nearest thing to a government official in the area is the postman in the village of Schmidruti. Have you seen any of the photographs yourself? Only two or three. Do you believe them? Yeah. He says he, he can't imagine how you can take a picture like this. He is the kind of a guy who only believes what he sees himself. Jakob Birchinger works the farm with Maya. Okay, he saw the light ball going away from here, from him, if it's in that uh, 45 degree angle. 45 degree angle? Well, that's right. And he, he can't tell how far it was. It was very difficult to, to say. But then it stood still, that ball of light, and changed direction, came directly towards him with an unbelievable speed. My name is Elsie Moser. I'm living in Niederglatt. I am a school teacher. The first time when I saw it, it was up here. With, I saw it with uh, about seven other people. Were you frightened? No, not at all. I was thinking, oh, well, okay, now I have seen one. <laughs> Guido Moosbrugger is not a neighbor. He lives about two hours away in Austria. He heard about the Maya experiences and came to see for himself. Have you ever had any experience with Billy in connection with these things that are going on here? Yes, I have seen a few demonstrations myself, especially at night, and was present at the landing site doing one landing, and I saw other things. A lot of things happened in those six years. You have seen things with your own eyes. Did you ever photograph anything? I was allowed two times to photograph at night. As we sat inside the car, we saw all of a sudden to the north, above the meadow, out of nowhere, a fire red disc, about as large as a headlight. And then what happened? And then it suddenly disappeared. Then there was a short pause, after which, at the same place again, appeared all of a sudden a silvery white ball. Then there was another pause. And then the same ball appeared again. It flew toward us, got larger and larger, then shrunk, collapsed, and then, like magic, it was gone. And best of all, it looked like a shower of sparks. In all, over 30 other witnesses corroborate Maya's testimony. The contacts continue at a furious pace, sometimes two or three a week. Maya claims to have had over 130 meetings. He has taken hundreds of photographs and has over 3,000 pages of notes. For a long time, we've had an urge to contact someone who sincerely wants to be helpful in our mission. Here and there, we open such contacts with inhabitants of different worlds, but only when they have developed enough become rational thinking beings. Then we prepare them for the thought that they are not the only rational thinking beings in the universe. Brit questions Calliope, Maya's wife, whose nickname is Poppy. Poppy, how long have you and Billy been married? Uh, now, six years. And you were married in Greece? Yes. Uh-huh. What did you think when Billy first told you about these experiences? Her English shaky, Poppy reverts to German. It was difficult to be, uh, at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Because she never knows anything about this case. Well, she didn't know? No. When did she find out? She says Billy takes a long time that her tell her something then, from the UFO. And then how did you feel about it? And she was thinking, why this happened all to me? Billy shows her every time the picture that he takes, and so she was knowing about from the picture from the UFO. But she was very critical about this case and asked him some questions about all this case and it was very difficult for Bobby.